Okay, guys, so here we are going to take a look on this video here called Can AI Truly Replace Architects? It's from this uh, YouTube channel called Articulations, okay? Let me just share their videos here. They have some videos related to architecture and design. And I think this is, is nice because they, they had videos from four and five years ago and they are kind of coming back right creating new videos so it's nice to to have people coming back and sharing their thoughts about newer things that are happening on, on architecture and design so nice to have you once again with us here okay so, so let's keep my going my parents are mechanical engineers and i have this childhood memory of my dad being annoyed by his office introducing computer aided design also known as cad software in the early 90s and saying how hand drafting will always be better yeah uh, we had in, in our country here uh, autocad became more more popular in 1997 or something like it with version 14 then we had the version 2000 right everything was 2000 in the 2000s every content uh, every software and tv show was 2000 even we had a funk music uh, program called furacan 2000 you do you remember that sammy yeah furacan 2000 and people dancing uh, funk music so everything was 2000. in a way he's not wrong sure these days very few people still hand draft because cad is just much faster more efficient and can process complex data yeah it wasn't like that it was faster more efficient but it was like this it was like this not like this this is too much uh uh, late uh, 2009 or something like data that. that would be extremely difficult for humans however many architecture and design school students are often still expected to draft exclusively by hand for the first year of their education which was something i hated doing when i was in school i loved doing that i my best grades was when i was hand dra drawing but i have something and i still have this as, and i need to control i have the tendency to destroy everything that i do so I started developing hand-drawn projects and I get a good grade, but then you need to make and you need to keep developing for uh, another, you know, submission. And then, okay, I will remove all the hand-drawn things and let's go to AutoCAD. And then I changed the project and then so some things sometimes got wrong but now kind of understand what my dad means when he says some essence of creativity got lost when we moved away from hand drafting when cat technology 3d visualization software and building information modeling first came onto the scene each time there was an initial period of concern about if they will lead to human workers being replaced however most of these advances eventually got integrated into the industry and and became everyday tools yeah usually when we have uh, new advancements in this world that we call that the capitalism world so we, we get these new technologies and we put into our work schedule and we are more productive now when we are using that but in the end of the day you're not going to get much better income usually right so you are applying new technologies you are working more efficiently and at the beginning maybe you are charging a little more you are getting ahead of competition but usually when we adopt new technologies we are not making our lives uh we are making of course people's lives better but our lives are not getting better in many 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 cases so we are just adopting that and not uh man, many great uh, you know possibilities for us and in my opinion here related to to bim and all these softwares i don't like the the bin idea of course we use that we need to use that of course and we have many great possibilities with this i'm not denying it but i don't like this idea that okay now you need to purchase a rabbit license and keep it or keep it or a archicad like archicad license so we use archicad here in the office so i don't like this idea of our craft being dominated by a few software companies okay bin is the future so everyone goes to the future and the future is controlled by two or three companies and and i don't like this idea 
architects and engineers use to improve visualization, efficiency, accuracy, and to create bigger and more complex structures that wouldn't have been possible before. So is artificial intelligence just another step in the automation journey that will lead to further improvements in building science? Or do we actually have something to fear this time? Okay, spoiler, uh, I didn't see this video, but in my opinion, we're going to just work differently, as I was telling, and we we can have the possibilities to apply these technologies to maybe not developing this handcrafted floor plan that is amazing. You, can, you spend days or weeks developing this. You simply can create new possibilities on floor plans and analyze it. So we are going to be more into the managing process. This is my opinion on that. The state of AI today is different from previous incarnations of automation because computers are no longer limited to autonomous, repetitive, and systematic actions. Artificial intelligence is becoming, well, intelligent. AI software like DALI2, ChatGPT, Stable Diffusion, and Midjourney are forms of generative AI, which learn from massive amounts of data to identify patterns and then subsequently generate content such as writings and images that are more accurate, varied, and personalized than what automation software could create in the past. For the longest time, we only had to worry. Yeah, we are seeing these generative videos. We have been using Midjourney since version 3. We are in version 5.1 now, and we have seen huge advancements. I was uh, in another video that you can see in our channel. I was comparing the images that we have created with version 3 with the same prompts, and now in version 5 is something completely different much better and in videos we are going to see huge improvements on that so i i truly believe that we are going to see entire movies in one year or two entire movies just with ai without any real actors about computers taking over low-skilled and non-creative jobs. Jobs that require more complex thinking and creativity required humans because we have diverse experience in the world. We can observe, learn, and adapt. But what happens when a computer can do the same at scales and speeds unimaginable to humans? AI like Do- Just testing the audio here is kind of strange. Let me see if everything is fine. Okay. Ali 2 and Midjourney create realistic or stylized images based on descriptions entered in natural language. The images are usually aesthetically pleasing, visually interesting, and appear to involve creativity. One interesting feature... But one thing that, that we see of these images, it was exciting at the beginning. Now it's becoming more, okay, another Midjourney crazy image. So our eye uh, are getting used to the drug, right? And we are not going to see, you know, to surprise us, it's going to be harder and harder. The feature these tools have is that you can be as vague or as specific as you want in the text prompts. Generally, the more specific, the better the outcome. But vagueness can be advantageous because in the conceptual stages of a design project, usually ideas are broad and minimally defined. So a variety of images based on keywords can be useful to show a client. And since you can add more detailed descriptions later or even upload your own images for the AI to stitch with their outputs, it can be a highly useful design tool. Although something that is often left out of sensational articles about AI is that it usually takes a long time, sometimes hours or even days, and massive amounts of trial and error to generate a desired, accurate, and suitable outcome. However, architecture is not just about creating conceptual renderings. So far, it doesn't seem like AI software like Dolly can develop good design details, plan layouts, evaluate site conditions, consider space adjacencies, and develop a functional design on its own. But that doesn't mean generative AI can't do those yet they can do those things, things right before we get into how ai could accomplish design related tasks i'll just say this technology is changing very quickly day by day and it's hard to predict where it will go even in the near future and you know what else is unpredictable the financial market which is why i wanted to take a moment to talk about today's sponsor who can help diversify your financial portfolio how with okay. mastery war the possible just like resale by cloud or engineering to the construction industries the most widely used software car jobs. 
Autodesk, the company that makes some of the most widely used software for architecture, engineering, and construction industries, used computational workflows and generative learning to develop a design for their 250 plus person Toronto office in 2017. A lot of tasks that would have normally been done by humans during the schematic design stage, like creating walking diagrams. Yeah, I love this. This is during schematics. The schematic. Let's take a look on that. So we are seeing natural um, natural lighting. So agency preferences, work style preferences, bus productivity, daylight views to the outside. I'm in the in the front here on the of the. Let me remove myself a little bit, so we can see here um, views to the outside. So the best views are going to be these angles here. And daylight is is well lit, and these areas are not. But it, it seems that are not regularly occupied areas that would, wouldn't be a problem. Let's keep going. Design stage like creating walking diagrams, conceptual visualizations, programmatic analyses, adjacencies evaluation, test fits, and layout options were done by AI software over 10,000 times. Autodesk states that these tools offer a lot of benefits for managing complex projects, incorporating large amounts of inputs, and creating more optimized spaces. Humans weren't absent from this process though, they provided feedback to the software and ultimately yeah some crazy person here okay still made decisions on what design options to implement it also doesn't look like the ai was used to produce construction drawings and specifications either although automated yeah ai won't assume these risks right of getting sued of a bad specification so they don't do this they are they are so clever right sammy ai are they are so clever they are not using they are not making architectural details so they will not get sued you know this is the the thing that ai is doing so they will leave just a part of of work for architects bim tools were probably still used for part of the documentation yeah process and as far as i know the city of toronto still requires just a dangerous part they will keep for us yes a license do that, humans. This human architect or interior designer to apply for building permits for now. It's hard to say how much more of the design process AI will be capable of doing in the near future. Maybe one day they will indeed be more creative than we are. Will AI replace architects? It is possible that AI could assist architects in their work, but it is unlikely that AI will completely yeah, replace I made that question. I have an, uh, a video about it. And my, my, what I say is that in five years, we are going to see huge changes on, on the way that we work. Of course, not, uh, not every people are going to assume those things, but I usually embrace technology because I, see, I, I have seen so many changes during my, since I was a teenager. And uh, one thing that I have learned is when you have a new technology, you need to embrace that as soon as possible because usually it's undeniable so for example mp3 i just saw the first thing that i saw i think that the biggest one was the mp3 right so i used to to buy cds and then i said uh, i saw people sharing mp3 on icq software so this is how old i am and on Mirk as well so you could share uh, through ftp these files of music but usually we shared live shows so, for example, that band played there in 1998 and one person recorded in the US or I know which country and they shared this file. Okay, there is a new, new music from this band that they play live some, somewhere else and we could get those files and then we saw many changes, right, related to the internet velocity, the... Uh, usually we have dialed internet, right? Then we change it through uh, better connections. We saw changes related to software, architecture. When we saw a sketch up for the first time, I think it was nine, uh, 2002 when I saw it for, for the first time. And it was a huge change on, on how easy it was to develop 3D models. So I embraced that immediately and suddenly the entire uh, market changed it and I had some advantages w while working looking for work at those times 
So usually when you embrace technology sooner, you will see good possibilities to, to use, you know, these technologies to get a new job opportunity or something like it. Uh, sometimes it's hard to, to get these advantages, so it's important to get that sooner as you can. Creativity and decision making, which are difficult for AI to replicate. Additionally, architects often work closely with clients and builders and need to understand. You see the music industry, right? They had so many issues during the last two decades related to music technology. So it's important to, to embrace as soon as possible. It's, you can think that it's bad, it doesn't matter. Embrace that, try to learn, try to, to be ahead of, of everyone else. Stand and this is how the world works. Break the needs of these stakeholders, which is another aspect of the job that AI is not currently capable of handling. However, AI can be used to improve the efficiency and accuracy of certain tasks such as building design, cost estimation and energy analysis. Well, of course a robot is going to tell me not to worry about being replaced by them, but ChatGPT does have a point. After almost 12 years in the architecture industry, I realized some of the most important things we do is building human relationships. Yeah, you need to talk with clients, you need to deal with details. And one advantage that we have is that we need to build in reality, right? So this drawing needs to be transformed in something real and it has many risks during that transition. So this transition, this connection between virtual and real, it's something that anyone else can substitute. Any robot, maybe, right? Some robot can, can do a, a work connected with AI, but not in the, in the short term. So in the, I think we are going to be alive until the, until the end of that. These days I spend a lot of my time talking to clients, hearing their concerns, working out problems with them, and presenting ideas to them in engaging ways. Doing those things... Yeah, many, uh, a big part of the work is this, relationships between people. These require empathy and understanding of human needs. We also attend community consultations. Yeah. to communicate with and obtain feedback from the public. We negotiate with city authorities about code variances. We collaborate with engineers, other consultants, property managers, owners and contractors, as well as mediate disputes when they occur. Most of these things require being human. Sure, chatbots can be trained to mimic human behavior and natural human speech, but until they become replicants from Blade Runner or something, they're probably not managing client relations anytime soon. But hey, maybe I'm just overly confident and in total denial about the impending future where I am replaced by a robot. Yeah, you, I think you, uh, she has the same opinion as me. We are going to be alive until the end of that. The next generation is going to handle with maybe robots walking by and, and making this uh, type of work. But we have this human relationship, so it's impossible to substitute that. So I think this is a great but, video. Although I find it hard to worry when willrobotstakemyjob.com says architects have literally a 0% chance. Of yeah, I, I made this uh, research in the past as well. There will be many jobs that, is that are going to be substituted, but architects don't have that risks. But our way of work is going to change dramatically in the next five years. And... Of course, not for everyone, right? Some people can uh, make a type of work that it is, it doesn't need to be that automated, but um, I think most creative people they are handling with buildings, they will see big changes. We are seeing uh, softwares, for example, such as spatio.ai. Let's take a look on that. So this is a, a software that promises, it's not launched yet, but we are going to see things like this, for example. So changes on floor, floor plans and generative options. So many different options and you can analyze quality of the space in many different uh, ways, right? So we are seeing here, for example, compactness. So usually compactness, compactness brings more energy efficiency, occupation, aperture and facade. So privacy, window contact, right? Uh, communication, walkability, connectivity, furnishable or something like it. So real-time simulations. So they have a very good promise here. And even if they, they didn't deliver, someone else will.
So this will be the future of our profession for sure, to analyze many different things that we are not actually analyzing. We always said at Chew Green, for example, that we need to analyze all those things and usually people are not and these softwares are going to make much easier to analyze all those things together. So this, this is something that we need to embrace to improve uh, building sustainability, improve connectivity, improve social uh, connection with the city. So this will be uh, crucial, right? So I enjoyed a lot this video from articulations. I think it was a great discussion and I'm happy to see they have the same option uh, opinion as me. So take a look on their entire video here that we have something to, to watch. Take a look there because they had great videos and great opinions, okay?